In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Writing Test 10, Section 2. We're now on the first passage out of four. How a Cat and a Hat Changed Children's Education. In a 1954 Life magazine article, author John Hersey expressed concern that children in the U.S. were disengaged from learning how to read. Among other problems, Hersey noted the reading material available to grade schoolers had a hard time competing with television, radio, and other media for children's attention. So question number one, we're listing the um, competition for reading that uh, reading material had a hard time competing with television, comma, radio, and other media for children's attention. This looks good. Looks like parallel construction. We have a noun, a noun, and the last noun. It's not, we don't need another preposition here or an also competing with is redundant. So this one is, is no change, it's A. One solution he proposed was to make children's books more interesting since an individual sense of wholeness follows and cannot precede a sense of accomplishment. So let's take a look at two. Now, by the way, if you look at two, sometimes questions like number one don't have a, a call of the question. They're just the answers are listed and then it's usually a grammar based question. But here, when there is a call of the question, Pay attention to what the question's asking for. The writer wants to include a quotation by Hersey that supports the topic of the passage. Which choice best accomplishes this goal? Now, if you're just reading this for the first time, you really wouldn't be able to answer this because you have to read a little bit further. You know, hopefully you've, you've already done this passage and you're just, just watching these videos for review. But let's say you're watching this for the first time. You really couldn't answer this question. You really have to follow and I'll just give a little bit of information. You probably know who Dr. Seuss is, but you're not supposed to presuppose information from the outside world. You're just only supposed to take evidence from the passage. But we see in the beginning there's this, this challenge to make children interested in reading. And eventually they contracted with Theodore Geisel, who's known as Dr. Seuss. And he wrote with a limited vocabulary and these great illustrations to make children interested. So question two, we want to quote by Hersey that supports the topic of the passage. One solution he proposed was to make a children's book more interesting since an individual sense of wholeness follows and cannot proceed a sense of accomplishment. This passage is not about wholeness and accomplishment. This is about making children interested in having these, these children's with a limited vocabulary, these books, and with uh, very captured a vivid imagination with these drawings. So let's take a look at B, interested since learning begins with failure. The first failure is the beginning of education. Again, this is not about learning and failure. Interesting because journalism allows its readers to witness history. Fiction gives its readers an opportunity to live it. Again, this is not about fiction and witnessing history. Let's take a look at D, interesting with drawings like those of wonderfully imaginative geniuses among children's illustrated. This is, this is definitely what this passage is about. So that wasn't too difficult, but just keep that in mind when you have a question just to pay attention to the call of it. All right, let's take a look at three. The story of the cat and the hat's publication began when William Spaulding, the director of the education division at publishing company Houghton Mifflin read Hersey's article and had an idea. So number three, we've seen this a lot. We have the publication began when William Spaulding, the director of the education division at the publishing company Houghton Mifflin. So you should recognize this is extra information. It's a non-essential clause and it can be bound by two commas, two m dashes or parentheses. And just to check it's non-essential, if you cross this out, could you still link the passage together? Obviously, you wouldn't know specifically this extra information, but it doesn't really change the meaning. If you read it, the story of the Cat and the Hat's publication began when William Spaulding read Hersey's article and had an idea. It totally makes sense. Again, it's extra information, it's non essential, and it's bound by two commas, m dashes, or parentheses. We have one comma, there needs to be another. This one is correct. This one is, is no change. The answer is A. By the way, like in D, there's that M dash. If you add a second M dash, that would be right, but you have to be consistent with the punctuation. All right, let's take a look at number four. He thought he knew who, or actually should go back up because we're on four. <laughs> Spalding agreed that there was a need for appealing books for beginning readers, period. He thought he knew who, who should write one. He arranged to have dinner with Theodore Geisel, who wrote an illustrated children's book 
under the name Dr. Seuss and issued him a challenge. Write me a story that first graders can't put down. We want to combine four, and just from reading it before even looking at the choices, this seems awkward because we have Spalding agree that there was a need for appealing books for beginning readers, period, he. Why do we need that period, he? You can just connect it. Let's take a look at the choices. And he, so here and is a coordinating conjunction. We have a comma, he. We've already introduced the antecedent subject Spalding. This looks good. M dash, namely he. Again, this, um, you can't have the M dash and then the, you don't need a punctuation between namely and he. Semicolon, we know only would link two independent clauses. And um, we can't, you can't have the and with a semicolon. You would just list the, the subject or the noun there. And meanwhile, he. So the most concise way, the most direct, we don't need meanwhile here. Spalding agreed that there was a need for appealing books for readers, comma, and he thought he knew who should write one. So this one is A.